What can I help you find? Take a look. Farewell. unnoticed in Camelot territory for God knows how long, and the Tommies almost take the castle. I've failed in my duties. They should never have made it that far into Albion. All my defense plans failed. Some head of security I turned out to be. And what can I do now except drink? I couldn't do it before. What makes Arthur think I can do it now? That's certainly true. Well, whoever they are, they probably don't know we're onto them. Okay, let me think. Uh, uh, I've got two ideas. Firstly, the tavern is great at loosening lips and would be the target of any respectable spy. Or secondly, there are some injured Tommies in the infirmary. If they really did receive intel, maybe one of them knows a thing or two. I'll stay here and fraternize, see what I can find out. You interrogate those Tommies. Just ask them. No time for mind games. If they know anything, they're bound to let on. I imagine they're pretty desperate. Crack some heads. Ever vigilant. You have eyes, use them. Oi, watch it. London is the place for me. What? Fuck you. What do you want? I don't know shit. Oh, my legs are riddled with slugs. Get me a doctor. Hey, I can help with that. Lieutenant Tinkler, at your service. But this information is my ticket to recovery. Let's strike a deal, shall we? Eh? Information for Camelot's finest medical attention. Immediately. Fine. You better not screw it up. Dead patients don't tell secrets. Ah, feels better already. I'll be up and walking in no time. Don't think I won't come through on our deal. One of my own men gave me this wind. It's a trigger finger. So he ain't exactly feeling patriotic. I can't give you a name, but I know he sends monthly reports to Tommy High Command. He sends them through an old post board. I knew the guy who collects the reports. He meets the post board in the same place every time without fail. Here are the coordinates. Careful. Those post boards are deadly. 
Foxy, any good stuff? Patience is key, for the quest continues. Keep moving. Victory is ours. is our foot. Okay. Well, that's a go get them, sidekick.
messed with the wrong treasure hunter and her trusty sidekick. Identified intruder detected. Beginning search.
You have eyes. You have Use eyes. Them. Use them. Ever vigilant. Suggest, Marky. I don't believe it. <laughs> With all the mad stuff out there, you don't believe I, Lancelot, met a giant talking tree? Well, I guess it's bordering on the realm of possibility. Did you slay him then? Slay him? No, he was polite enough. Oh, I could do with the shave, though. They had the face of a ghoul. I heard ghouls exfoliate their skin with sandpaper. Do you reckon that's true? Hmm, you know what, mate? I could definitely see that being true. Well, well, well. If it isn't Geheris, scary Geheris. Meet my friend. Much obliged. Now, oh, what can I get you? It's on the house. Correction. It's on his slate. What did I <laughs> find out? Um... Well, what did I find out, Barky? <laughs> well, he learned that ghouls exfoliate their skin with sandpaper. I got <gasps> sidetracked. You're not a spy, are you, Barky? Nope. Damn. <laughs> anyway, what did you find, Geheris? Really? Ooh, let's have a butcher's. The letters are all, uh, fuzzy. Uh, say, Barkeep. What do you make of this? Hang on. It's addressed to a syndicate loan shark. I bet your man is a gambling addict. Initials JM. Gambler, eh? Fuck you, Geheris, you shit for brains. You, you, you bastard. Don't tell me to calm down, you sad sack of shit. I, Lancelot, challenge you, Geheris, to a duel. Coward, you don't have choice. You will fight me. Let's make this more exciting. I bet 500 tickets on Geheris. I'll take that action. Yeah, me too. You're out of your mind, Barkeep. Lancelot is undefeated. I'll take your bet. Right. Everyone to Dueler's Ditch. Come in. Power stations, rally up! Take the money. Thank you. No, this is bullshit. I'm not giving you anything. Geheris, this one doesn't want to pay up. Patience is key, for the quest continues. That fight was rigged. Lancelot would have kicked your ass in the real world. Not whatever upside down backwards insane world this is. I, um, I take it back. Forget it. You won. Fair and square. But I don't have the money. Oh, I thought this bet was a sure thing. I didn't expect to pay up. I really need the money, you know. I'm skint. In every sense of the word. Bloody lung sharks. Bloody syndicate. Bloody luck. You're standing in front of the unluckiest man in London, friend. The Isle of Dogs syndicate have threatened me. 
beat me and maimed me. And I'm still into them for more money than you'll ever see in your life. The funny thing is, when you owe a loan shark money and he cuts off one of your toes, you still owe him the money. I know, it doesn't seem fair, does it? I'm a levy. My name's Benjamin. Benjamin Gale. Fuck. 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 Fuck! How did you get that? Damn him! I'll shove a pipe bomb through his letterbox. <sighs> My name is Jeff Mutt. I work for the Fifth Column as a spy. I used to believe in the cause. Now I do it because it's all I have. In all honesty, I'm way over my head. The reason I've come this far as a spy is because people like hanging around gamblers. Especially when they always lose. I almost feel sorry for the bugger. I hear that. Not here. I'm the only one. But I know Fifth Column Agent has infiltrated the Tommy High Command. Right at the top. And no, I don't know who. I overheard the boss mention it once over the dog and bone. Horatio Whitehouse. Eve's administrative advisor. And brother. Well, half-brother. To be honest, I doubt he's loyal to Eve. He's constantly scheming with some big shot in Westminster. Smith or something. Let's get him in a cell. I'll decide his fate when my head's clearer. You know, I've always liked you guys. I think this is the start of a great friendship. Come on, let's go. Geharis, tell Arthur we've got him. Ever vigilant. Geharis! What news? Wishing for what I can't have. Do you see all that empty land? A virtual kingdom. We could march south without any substantial opposition. But it's just a seductive destruction. To do so would stretch our forces thin. Our stronghold would be vulnerable. We'd fall before our celebrations ended. Our only hope for peace and stability is to go north. And to do that, I need information. Tell me you have some. Of course he can. Is that all you have to report? Good. I assume he gave up something actionable? The fifth column, the Tommies, and by extension, the Gentry. Those three forces stand between London and democracy. The column is ideological. There is no reasoning with fascists. The gentry get off on political debates. We've taught their ear off for years in one form or another. But the Tommies, they're different. They want a peaceful London, but have no ideological or political agenda. They're conscripts in a war they never wanted. If either the column or the gentry rule, the working class suffer. They suffer. Geheris, I need you to broker peace with the Tommies. I do. We have more in common than even they realize. It won't be easy. They're just as wary of us as we are of them right now. We need a neutral zone, one where the gentry can't influence them and where they don't feel coerced by us. There's a place outside Albion. Nothing more than a field, really. But it's secluded, indefensible by either party, and damn near perfect for a peace treaty. I charge you to convince General Asquith to meet me there. But tread lightly. They're still licking their wounds in the Imperial War Museum, and I'm sure we're not welcome. Uh-huh. Now we settled it. No! Bags the any good stuff. No! Uh -huh. uh -huh.
Welcome to the Imperial War Museums. That's above my pay grade, then. You can speak with the General. Head on in. But we're watching you. Open fire on this traitor! You won't be messed with, you hear me? Run like hell and you'll be there. Pretty secure, huh? Step right up. Take a look. Take a look. Farewell. I wish I could meet the Queen. Surprised to see me at this desk? Well, frankly, I am too. After you stubborn idealists stonewalled any hope of a simple solution to this violence, we're left to pick up the pieces. You think you can swing your toy swords around and, and play the gallant hero? Some legendary knights propped up by a fairy tale. You're too stupid to realize your false king is offering false promises. Are you willfully ignorant or just Brain dead. Do you know the problems you've caused? In Westminster? In Eastminster? Even here? Do you want to know why I am standing in this office instead of General Asquith? Because he's MIA. So, whatever message you have from your terrorist king, I don't have time for it. It's it, is it? Then speak, before I change my mind. Then it's either war or peace you're after. And I'm guessing the former. You wouldn't give up priceless intel otherwise. Peace with you would mean war with the gentry, which honestly doesn't sound half bad. Those bastards have no idea what we go through for them. A soldier should fight for peace and security, not someone's fortune. That's mercenary work. I'm done being the poster boy for their aggression. They ordered this war. I'll hear Arthur out. So long as the safety of my men is guaranteed in the meantime. We'll meet in neutral territory. But I don't have the authority to sign. No one does. Not until General Asquith is found or a replacement has been named. If you're serious about wanting peace, Speak with Major Allen. He was the last to see the General after the... Well... I've heard some call it the Battle of Albion. If we have a General, we might just have a peace. We won't go quietly. You can count on that. Ah, the Inquisitive Knight. I was warned you'd be looking for me. Look around. There's an army at my back. Now get to the point. Why are you here? It does when you're making so much noise. Now get to the point. Why are you here? And what makes you think I'd talk to you about him? Ah, the Colonel would, wouldn't he? Give me one good reason to help you, and I'll consider it.
No soldier left behind, huh? That's your gambit? It's not a bad one, to be sure. Let's pretend I'll help you. What would you do with the general? A rescue mission. Having him back, even broken, would boost morale. And if he can name a successor, you're proposing a calculated risk to keep the Tommies from collapsing. I can respect that. It's a decision a leader would make when there are no good options. General Asquith planned to lead a tactical unit through the south field. They were, <clears throat> strategically waiting to attack in the Razor Grain. However, instead of joining the fray, they retreated before we gave the command to fall back. Because of his chosen, uh, battle tactic, I lost track of him. That is the truth. Do with it what you will, Knight. Patience is key, for the quest continues. Be more careful. You have eyes. Use them. What news, Gaheris? Likely why I didn't see him on the battlefield. Do you have any clues where he may be? An odd place to launch a surprise strike. Search the Razor Grain Field, Gaheris. Whether it's a man or a body, the General is still the key to peace. I'll send Kay to assist. Her medical skills will be invaluable if he's still alive, and she can deliver the body if there's nothing left to salvage. Lots to dig through if you want to find any valuables. London. Strip the on there. Careful, Gaheris. I can hear dogs. They're hungry and likely enjoying a fresh kill. They won't take lightly to you interrupting their dinner.
Come on. You're not fooling me. <laughs> well done, companion. They won't forget us in a hurry. So this was the dog's dinner, but it doesn't look like it was their kill. Interesting. Look at this! A single bullet to the back of the head, with no exit wound, and burns around the scalp. You'd need to be close. Someone he trusted did this. Hurry back to the Tommies. I'll follow behind with Asquith's body. Things to waste <laughs> Fuck! I told you, I don't know who the spy is. Gaheris, you've returned. What have you learned? Where is General Asquith? He deserved much better than this. The body will be delivered to you as soon as possible. Gaheris, give us an abbreviated report. As you can see, we're in the middle of something. Sounds like he was betrayed. This is a real blow to the Tommies. As the General Second in Command, I am the rightful successor. Though that is likely to be contested. I thought your hierarchy was clear. It is. But despite a lower rank, Major Jonathan Allen will likely make a bid for the position. He has a fair few supporters amongst the grunts, but... But? He was the only one who saw the General during the battle. And I mean the only one. I've questioned every Tommy trying to find him. Couldn't someone have lied? Doubtful. And even if true, you'd need authority to pull a patrol like this off. Why kill the General without a guarantee of power, then? I suspect it might be guaranteed. Just not by the Tommies. Our dear friend here likely has the evidence. It wouldn't surprise me if the Fifth Column knew I'd prefer a pact like this to bowing to their aggression. That means your sign. If we can find evidence of his betrayal, yes. If not, it'll have to wait until succession is settled, which might take more time than you have. Then we need to twist the knife a little more in our friend Jeff. No, no. Fuck. I swear, I've told you everything I know. The only person who might know more is Horatio. Keep talking. Fuck. His name's Horatio Whitehouse. He's supposed to meet Dr. James North in Westminster. I don't know when, but I know it's soon. Colonel, may I have a moment with my knight alone? Hail, Gaheris. I suppose it is. But even in this smouldering wreckage of this place we call London, there is a sense that this was once a place of great importance. The golden age of humanity was built on the ideals supposedly held by the knights of old. Surely it's more silly to emulate those who destroyed civilization 
rather than those who built it. I was born in a village very far from here. Childbirth took my mother's life, and the scarcity that comes with isolation took my father's. I was seven years old. The locals took care of me as best they could, but resources were tight. When a passing caravan came through the town, I snuck into one of the wagons. I still remember the look on the caravaner's face when he found me. Scared the shit out of him. He scared me, too. I'd never seen a ghoul before. His name was William Knight. He took pity on me. He turned my fear into love and my despair into hope. He showed me how to fight, the safe roads to take, the books to read, the people to trust, and warned me about those you couldn't. He had a saying from one of his books that always stuck with me. The ultimate hidden truth of the world is that it is something that we make and could just as easily make differently. A great man. Without him, I wouldn't be alive, let alone where I am today. He goes by a different name these days. Farewell. We have someone on the inside, codenamed Guinevere. She's been following Dr. North for some time. We believe he holds the defense plans for Westminster. Rendezvous with her at the fountain beside the scrapyard in Westminster. She won't acknowledge you unless you give her the call sign, and you must wait for her countersign. You will say, do you have a spare Geiger counter? She'll say, mine's being regilded in the shop. Now go. Time is of the essence. I'll work with the Colonel to get more out of Jeff. Why would such a ruffian approach me? Does it look like Ard need to carry such a thing? Good day. Mine's being regilded in the shop. Glad you're here, Geharis. Arthur told me to expect you. I've been following Dr. North for months, and we finally have an opportunity. To finish my mission. We have a party to go to. But before we go, you can't look like that. And blend in. You're not a knight. You're not some common wayfarer. You're someone the gentry should already know. Make them feel like they should know you, and they'll play along. Uncomfortable social interactions are just as bad as a bullet to them. I do hope Father is proud of me.
I don't know what you know about Dr North, but he's the poster boy of why I fight for London. He used to lead the Reformist Party. Can you believe that? Well, he was more like their jester. I've been in Westminster my whole life and I can't think of a single instance where he took his job seriously. Absolutely zero political motivation. Il est fils de pute in every conceivable way. While some of us work to better ourselves and our fellow man, he bettered his dinner menu. But, somehow, he's an associate of the newly appointed Lord Chancellor, Smythe. Even more of a poot than North. And that association is why you're here, because Horatio is likely to show his ugly face. Okay, here's the plan. North is one of the only people with Westminster's defence plans. They're always secured in his breast pocket. Horatio is going to be skulking about since he's technically banned. You tail North and throw suspicion off of me all while finding out where he's to meet Horatio. Plant these surveillance devices while you're at it. Even if one of us slips up, we might still make this a success. Meet back up with me once you know something. <sighs> Bit of a hoarder, are you? I live in fear knowing you people can reproduce. Point dirty, hey. Ah, oh, no. I've lost the keys to the rad filter system. There is a god. The new chancellor won't toss me out now. Who puts a telescreen in the bathroom? How oh, ghastly. Very good idea. It is improper to have a telescreen in here. Do what you must. I do hope Father is proud of me. He's on duty. No patent allowed, I'm afraid. Seems Miles is no exception. to the rat roaches for a minute. I'll just center myself and then deal with another one of his messes. <laughs> He's not here, but we need to get to him before North does. You go find Horatio. I'll keep North busy. But hurry, I can buy you a head start, but that's all.
It must be horrible to live in places without luxury. Hey, that watch you, what you're Dr. doing, Moore. okay? You sound nothing like that grimy doctor. Who the heck? Great. Ooh. Yeah. It's yours. Just name it. These are useful cloud. Distractions when we need them, boats when that suits our needs. He's nothing more than a convenient patsy we have leverage on. Some bigwig named Allen, Major Jonathan Allen. We turned him a long time ago. Feeds us info, takes care of problems for us, whatever we need. I can prove it. Rick. I do hope father is proud of me. Elga Harris, I'd call this night a success. He won't be troubling us any longer. Dr. North ran into a little bit of trouble when he left the party. Police may have received an anonymous tip about a rendezvous. Association with undesirables is an imprisonable offence, if you didn't know, and now Dr. North knows it too. But before they gave him shiny new bracelets, he struggled, and as the upstanding citizen that I am, I helped pin him down and those plans in his breast pocket just slid right into my hands. See you around, Viharis. I've got a party behind me, and I can't think of a better way to celebrate the downfall of the gentry than by drinking all their booze right in front of them. Gaheris, what news? Secure. Don't worry, we didn't torture him, if that's what you're worried about. That's not the Tommy way. Any man can name names under duress. That doesn't make it true. Show me proof, and then we'll talk. This is... Men, arrest Major Jonathan Allen. He is to stand trial for espionage and treason. So, you've read my report, Colonel. I won't hide it. Yes, I support the fifth column. We all should. The Tommies were formed to protect Old Lighty. That was our mission, from the Queen herself. And for years we've listened to the people claiming to be her mouthpiece. But are they? Would the Queen leave us in such a state? There is no law and order. There is no safety in her kingdom. Hooligans run around like petulant children, and the gentry tolerate it, all because it doesn't affect their tea time. Eve was born to a gentry father, but not a gentry mother, and for that, she was cast out and shamed. That is the world the gentry have built, a world of slaves and masters. And we are not slaves. We will never be slaves to lazy politicians. So don't fight for someone who wouldn't fight for you. 
we are better than dogs for the gentry to kick. Old Blighty is better than a pool for them to piss in. The fifth column is the future. A bright and proud future. Join me. Stand up. For London. What you say is not wrong, Major. But it's a half-truth. You're right. The gentry do not care for anyone other than the gentry. But the same is true for the column. How many of you have seen firsthand their brutality? Daughters ripped from mother's arms because they existed where the column marched. Is existence a crime? Both the gentry and the column argue, yes. But anyone with half a heart knows that can't be our future. We are a people. One people. We are all worth fighting for. Major Allen's honeyed words can't mask the vinegar. He would watch us gag on our own blood just as much as the gentry would. We're not asking you to fight beside us. Only give old Blighty the chance she deserves. You know the gentry are against us all, and deep in your heart, you know the column is too. So stand aside. Let peace win today. Not the kind one from violence, but the kind one from civil words. Because isn't that what we all want? A return to civility. Stand aside and win. Stand aside so we can all win. All peoples of Blighty. It is your choice if London can shine once more. Stand aside and let peace shine. This is what your Queen commanded. Ensure the peace. I beg of you. Follow your Queen's order. Let peace prevail. Major Jonathan Allen, you have confessed to your crimes before your peers. I hereby strip you of your title and commend you to the court martial for sentencing. Put him in a cell beside the other traitor. God save our gracious queen. Long live our noble queen. You've done well, Gehellus. We've won a major victory today. But our day isn't over. We've won peace with the Tommies, but we can't keep this from the column. Two spies removed, they're practically abandoning Westminster, and they're clearly not raising arms against us. They will know of this pact of non-aggression within days. I'm sending you to Cable Street. Bedivere is there. We need to take the fight to the column. Camelot can't take another assault. She is up on a lookout point opposite their headquarters, accessible via the Jack the Ripper Museum. Go. With one more push, we can topple an empire and rebuild old Blighty as she once was. I'm counting on you, Gehedus. We won't go far. We can count on that.